What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to play Shadow Fight 3 with the Xbox One wireless controller. Right now I am using the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and the Xbox One wireless controller works perfectly. I just realized this today. We are gonna jump into the training section and I'm gonna show you guys how this thing works. As you guys can see, the on-screen controls have disappeared. That's because the Xbox One controller has taken over. Right now I am using the D-pad and the joystick to move back and forth. The X, A, Y buttons are used for attacking, for ranged weapon, for shadow attack. This thing works perfectly with Android. The Xbox One wireless controller is very responsive. You can pretty much do a lot of stuff with this thing. Right now we are just doing some training with E2. I am trying to figure out all the moves for this thing. In this video, we are gonna fight the Market Madness. We are gonna fight Azuma the Felsher with this Xbox One controller. Once we defeat Azuma the Felsher, we shall get into dual matches to see if this thing works. The Shadow Attacks also works perfect. The D-pad can help you move back and forth, jump, dash, dodge, everything. The joystick can also help you move back and forth. It's a little bit difficult to use the joystick because sometimes when you try to dash, you end up rolling forward. As you guys will see when we fight Azuma, the controls is not very easy. It's gonna take time to learn how to use it. I am going to be using the Torturous Nightmare to do damage in this event. The Nightmare set is the king of damage of the Dynasty faction. Torturous Nightmare was created by Queen Moira to mess up with people's minds. Let's see if we can do that in this event. The Xbox One controller has taken over right now. The on-screen controls have disappeared. I am using the D-pad to move back and forth. The X, Y, A, B buttons are used for ranged weapon, shadow attacks, and basic kicks and basic hits. Combining the D-pad with the X button will help you hit the opponent with your weapon. We just won the first round the match was perfect. Jumping into the second round, go for the legs, try a back throw, do the butterfly kick. It didn't work because I don't really know how to use the controller properly. This Xbox One wireless controller works with Android and iOS. I tried it today with the iPad Pro and I was able to use it perfectly. So I decided to test it out on Android and guess what? It's working on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. If you're trying to get one, you should definitely check it out. It's a good controller. Maybe it'll take your game to the next level. You'll just need to practice how to use it properly. Right now, I am getting knocked out because I forgot what button does what. I lost all my navigation for the Xbox One wireless controller. I have activated my panic button and this guy is gonna knock me out. I just activated the shadow attack and didn't know what to do next. The first round is off in the second round. Let's go for the leg and try to do a back throw. It didn't go through. We tried the bend trick and it worked. Right now I think I have a feel of how this thing works. Do the bend trick, he blocks everything. Go for the leg, he dashes and runs away. Now we just do the throw, head kick, get slammed to the ground. Regeneration is working for me. Do the basic attack and try to finish this guy off. Once we finish this round, we shall fight Azuma the Felsher the first time around. When we finish that, we're gonna check out the dual matches to see how this thing works. The Xbox One wireless controller is really excellent. You can use it on both Android and iOS. If you plan to play on your phone with the controller, you should definitely go for the Xbox One wireless controller. I am not entirely sure about the PS4 controller. So what do you guys think of this video? Will you be playing Shadow Fight 3 with the Xbox controller? Comment down below if you have the Xbox controller and you're definitely going to try it out. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any Shadow Fight 3 videos in the future. This is the match before Azuma the Felsher. We just knocked this guy out. Now we're gonna fight Azuma the Felsher with this thing. 
do the back attack and run away. Do the basic hit, counter Azuma, try to go for the legs. Right now I try to dash forward, I ended up rolling forward. Do a bend trick, which goes through. Go for the leg, it's working, do the back throw, everything is going smoothly. Go for the up attack and it goes through, Azuma the Felcher is done. Round number one is finished. We're jumping into round number two. Go for the leg, do a back throw, do the heavy kick for the dynasty. I tried to do the butterfly kick there but ended up doing the heavy attack. Azuma the Felcher is back for revenge. He uses a shadow attack that takes me out completely. And just like that, I put my head where it's not supposed to be. Right in front of a hot glowing Naginata. Thank you so much Xbox wireless controller. I tried to dash forward but you ended up rolling me forward. This is the third round. I am back for some revenge. Azuma again smashes me in the face with the critical Naginata. Right now I have lost my navigation of the buttons but I think I'm gonna get everything back on track. Don't hit the panic button. Things are going smooth. Heavy attack. That Naginata heavy attack is crazy. Try and block everything. You guys see there I tried to dash and ended up doing the forward roll. I think we're gonna finish this round with a shadow attack. Panic button activated. Let's finish this and move to the last round. We are entering the final round of the match. We are gonna knock out Azuma the Felcher and then I'm gonna try this thing in dual matches. Like I said before, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos in the future. Comment down below what you think of the Xbox controller gameplay. If you plan on buying one, comment down below. If you think the gameplay is awesome, comment down below and let me know. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the remainder of the video. Until then, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.